Who, hello Pisces. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys. So we will do the charm readings first. And then we'll get to the cards. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius specifically here, or you're a Sagittarius with strong Pisces placements, or you have strong Sagittarius placements. Um, I'm getting some of you guys may be like a little gothic, I guess, um, or maybe it's just something kind of like uh, dark and mysterious about you that's actually pretty alluring. People find that very uh, alluring because I'm definitely getting that people are naturally attracted to you. Um, Someone could have had a child that passed away. And this child, um, they they give you signs and messages here like that. Like, because some of you guys could still... Oh, gosh. I'm really sorry for whoever this is for. But I'm getting a message here. Someone having, like, a child, like, they actually possibly a stillborn. Or something could have happened to the child. But I'm getting, like, someone still holds on to, like, the footprints. Um, from when they gave birth to the child of uh, I'm really getting it's like that this child has been giving you signs that they're around you uh, that they're it's like really they're trying to uplift your spirits but they're not stuck in this dimension they have been like set free like they're it's not like they're lingering in this dimension they're just able some of you guys through music they're giving you signs through music as well so that's a particular message for someone here. But my heart does go out to you guys. Um, I'm getting someone could be born. You're the rabbit. You're the dragon here. I'm also seeing you're a very wise individual. Uh, some of you guys could either someone could be at a distance from you and they're coming towards you. Because I'm seeing some sort of romantic gesture. Um, like someone making something for you. It's like something that is like really special to them. I'm also seeing that you guys will be getting some sort of recognition here, some sort of recognition and praise. Some of you guys could love cats. I'm a dog person. I have nothing against cats, but if I was to get a cat, I would get those bald cats that fight all the time because I think they're hilarious. But I'm a dog person. I am. I definitely want like a statue of a guru dog or something. I'm definitely seeing uh, whoever you're connecting with or you will be connecting with, the two of you are very in sync. Like you get along. You're both very playful individuals. Uh, some of y'all love to like be near water, especially the ocean. Because I'm getting the both of you are very playful. Someone is wanting to take charge of this situation with you. Some of y'all could have a Dotson in particular as well. I'm definitely seeing that you guys will be receiving like a special a special message here. Some of y'all could be done with a Scorpio uh, specifically or you have strong Scorpio placements. So, I, mean, I think uh, Scorpio has been popping up in you guys' reading uh, lately. I am, you know, what's, what's funny. It's like, although some of y'all may not even, I'm getting some of y'all get a lot of attention, but the person that you want attention from, you're not getting attention from them. So it's like, you don't really care about the uh, attention that you're getting from some other people here. Someone is wanting to make peace with you. It's like quite possibly wanting to shoot their shot. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I am definitely getting um, any of you guys. Some of you guys could be having like a child or like news of a pregnancy here soon. But I'm definitely getting like um, you're a very loving and nurturing parent or you will be. Like you know how to make people feel loved and comforted. Okay. All 
let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through. Oh, you know what? I'm so sorry. So I was like, wanted to make sure. I don't even think you guys can see it. Let me see. <clears throat> Okay, someone is letting their pride stand in the way of healing this connection, but also their healing in general. You know, the challenge here is whoever is acting withdrawn from you, they're causing their own sadness and grief here because they truly miss you and they truly want to be in your company here, but they're allowing their pride and ego to stand in the way. So they continue to put on this uh, mask, but they're ultimately, they're causing their own suffering here because their ego is getting in the way of their own healing. Yeah. Clouded judgment. Their ego is clouding their judgment. Some of y'all just felt like this person was wasting your time. I'm definitely seeing you guys have someone here who is, they're continuing to stress themselves out. Um, whether they have like a lot of messages that they want to send to you and they're not sending it, or they're just doing, if this is someone that's around you, it's like instead of, expressing what they truly want or really going after what they because they're obsessing over you there's a strong chemistry between the two of you and this person is like really stressing over this situation they're constantly obsessing over this as well but you're looking at this as if you give you've given someone enough time to get their act right Someone thinks they have it all figured out, but it's really their ego just confusing them. Some of you guys could like chili, like you love chili specifically. So I'm really getting you guys are releasing this, this connection that's coming through. Currently, I'm definitely saying that this is something that you guys are releasing. You're in the process of releasing. And it's because... Um, it's really giving me this this energy of someone clinging on to you like you feel this person clinging on to your energy whether they're spying on you but you can tell that they're obsessing over you you feel this person energetically like attached to your energy but they're giving you mixed signals so it's like even though you know that this person is interested in you they're not letting you know so it's like well if you want to continue to conceal the way you truly feel, then I'm done. I can't let this go because you want someone who can let you know that they're into you, that they want a commitment with you. You want someone who can vocalize what they want. They take action towards what they want. Okay, so whoever you're connecting with, this person feels intuitively, they they feel like they're, they feel like the two of you, despite how much time the two of you have shared with one another, they, they feel like the two of you just truly get each other, like you truly understand each other. And you guys can intuitively pick up on what the other is thinking, what the other wants, they feel intuitively connected to you and they've never experienced this with anyone else. So you're viewing this person, part of you guys, you kind of go back and forth whether this is a twin flame connection or, but it's, it's also, it's like, 
you're viewing this person as keeping you in this manifestation phase where it's like you're always expecting something to happen but it never happens uh, like they keep you hoping for things to move to the next phase or the next level in this connection so you also view this person as being dishonest as well or uh you you're picking up deception here or trickery here and part of it is because you feel like they're giving you mixed signals, like they're getting your hopes up, but then they're not taking action. They're not putting action behind um, what they're giving out to you, what they're sending to you energetically here. What is your advice for Pisces regarding this situation? What is your advice for Pisces? Okay, so... They're letting you know that there will be someone, you guys will be connecting with someone that will be devoted to you, that will give you the attention that you deserves, and also this person will take action. They will uh, take necessary action uh, towards you in order to develop a relationship. But they're saying that some of you guys, in order for you to completely release this connection with the person that you're currently connecting with, it will be good for you to express the way you truly feel like how this person make you made you uh how this person made you felt in this connection there's like something you need to get off your chest and the moment you get that off your chest whether you just write it out and you burn it um because some of you guys just need to accept like you you need to find that closure on your own and some of you guys if you are talking to this person and they're you feel like they're leading you on, but they're, nothing is going to come out of the situation. Some of you guys are needing to have like a honest conversation with this person about how you truly feel about things. And once you get that off your chest, then it'll allow you to move on. Should have, could have, would have. So this person will be in regret um, because they know it's like they're being intuitive, intuitively guided on what to do, but they're not doing it. Faded connection. You that you definitely have a faded connection coming in. But I'm gonna tell you what: uh, the person that you are releasing, this person acknowledges that the two of you did not meet by coincidence. There's a reason behind the two of you meeting, and. The moment you release this connection, this person is going to have so many regrets and they're going to wish that they did things a lot differently here. Unnecessary drama. I'm really getting with you and this uh, person. It's been unnecessary drama. The roads to destruction is paved with good intentions. So I'm going to tell you what, whether this person had good intentions or not, someone is creating like unnecessary drama. And, but the thing is, I'm really getting, someone has good intentions for themselves, but they're not taking it into consideration. The, um, they're not taking others into consideration in this particular situation. And it's also creating a lot of drama for themselves and others as well. Some of y'all, that's more than just, yeah, lessons are blessings. So some of y'all, whatever you're releasing, because uh, I'm also getting some of y'all, it may be like a family situation, friendship situation. Um, it, and then some of y'all, it's just specifically a romantic uh, situation. But you're taking a lesson from this and you're turning it into blessings for you. And it's by having the power to move on and not to allow this to affect your energy anymore because someone is intentionally doing things for their own benefit here but not taking others into consideration and when people think like that they end up messing things up for themselves yeah because i'm saying that you guys are achieving goals you're it's like you guys are withdrawing from a situation and then oh yeah and you have your spirit guys working with you as well your spirit guides are giving you signs and synchronicities here about how to achieve certain things in your life. And that's why it's necessary for you guys to be separated from uh, some people here in order for you to really focus on your goals. Because there's something that you're, it's something major that you're about to achieve 
But if you're surrounded by the wrong energies here, then it's blocking what you guys are working towards. So there's a reason why you're being pulled away from a certain group of people. So don't resist it. Embrace it and focus on what you need to at this time. So I'm getting some of y'all will be coming up with some ideas here. And it's not for you to like share and want uh, some of you guys could have been getting harassed as well. There could have been people like trying to harass you and it's really because they're jealous of what's going on in your life. So you could have like some stalkers here. Some people like stalking your social media, trying to see what you're up to, trying to see what you know, trying to see what, what you're working on, your next move here. But my whole thing is if somebody has to pour that much energy into what you're doing, that lets you know they don't got shit going on in their life. Because I mean, I, 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 I can say for myself, I don't have time to see what's going on in someone else's life. And I could really give two shits about it. Not even two. I, I really don't care at all about what's going on in the next person's life unless it affects mine. But I don't know anyone's life that affects mine because I just hope that's the mentality that you guys have as well. If someone is that focused on what you have going on, what you're doing, that lets you know they're miserable. They don't have shit going on in their life no matter how much of a uh, facade they try to present here but you guys could have had someone trying to harass you i'm not getting any current harassment uh, i'm definitely seeing things turning around in your life i'm seeing like you guys achieving the force is with me and i am the force so y'all i'm gonna tell you what people are about to acknowledge if anyone tried to discredit you because y'all could have had some people harassing you, trying to discredit you. Because with your charms, it was showing that you guys are getting some sort of recognition here. Because I'm saying some people quite possibly was harassing you and trying to discredit you. But um, your spirit guides, the divine, they're about to let it be known that they're working through you and they're working for you. Like you are not in this alone. So something is about to turn into your favor and this is going to be major. This isn't going to be some little small coincidence here. This is going to be something really significant where people are going to know that the divine is working through you in a particular area of your life. But I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.